here. Thank y'all so much for watching today's YouTube video. I know it's been a minute since I've been on here, um, but I am back with a brand new video um, this week, of course. So recently I was asked about this specific design um, from one of my previous videos. If you haven't watched this video on how to create um, like stationery and notepads to sell on Etsy, then I will link it here and in the description box. But anyways, I was asked recently about where I got the clip art for this document. So I've zoomed in a little bit and you can see that I've got some clip art right here and right here. And then if I go back to this folder in Canva um, for this weekly plans um, little printable sheet that I made, I also used some feathers. So... If you are wanting to create printable designs like this weekly planner or this printable stationery and you would like to use clip art like this but don't know um, anything about purchasing clip art, where to begin when it comes to clip art or anything like that, I am going to show you guys exactly where I like to get my clip art from and how to find commercial use clip art for your Etsy shop. So if you are interested in learning more about starting a digital download Etsy shop, creating designs on Canva, that sort of thing, you are in the right place. Make sure you guys give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below, and um, take a look at the description box below as I do have some pretty useful links for y'all, including a free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. If you don't currently have Canva Pro, it is the best, um, I use it almost every day for designs and stuff like this, so make sure to check that out. But let's go ahead and dig into today's video. So I'm going to go to this uploads tab right here in Canva. And if you can see, um, let's see, I've got some, I've actually got a lot of sticker stuff right here and some pictures of me. But if I scroll down a little further, um, I've got some clip art. So like these little icons, those are um, some different types of clip art. And since I've scrolled down some more, um, here's some more different clip art. So this, um, what is this, a hexagon or something? Uh, these gold designs, that's clip art. Um, these flowers, like this, this is clip art. Um, I have a ton of different files in my uploads right here. So... The reason you use clip art um, in these designs is just to make it look a little more personalized and to um, just brighten up everything because, let's see, if I select these two and take it away, you can definitely sell something like this on Etsy, but I just think adding this extra touch right here just looks a little better. I don't know if everyone agrees with me on that, but um, using clip art can really make your printable digital designs um, really stand out. So there are a couple of different ways to get clip art. Now, if you want some floral clip art, let me see, let me scroll down a little more. So I've got some floral clip art. Okay. So like this clip art. So if you want to use something like this in your designs, a lot of people think that you can just go to Google and type in floral clip art and use this. So if you were to go to Google and type in floral clip art and just pick something that comes up, you cannot use most of these for Etsy digital designs. So if you plan on using clip art to make designs that you are then going to sell, you need what's called a commercial license. Most of these do not come with a commercial license. Now, I will show you a little trick um, about finding clip art on Google that can be used commercially. So if you go up here to the top and you go to settings and you go to advanced search, um, you can scroll down all the way to at the bottom where it says usage rights. So click all and then click commercial and other licenses and then hit advanced search. So once you do that option, it's going to pop up with results that can be used for commercial use. 
Um, now some of these, I don't think you can get them like, um, hang on, this one might be okay. Yeah, you can probably save that one and use it. Um, but some of these come from like stock.adobe.com and if you click on it, I'm pretty sure you have to purchase it or you have to sign up for a free trial. Um, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just kind of an out of the way thing to do to get clip art like this. So you can definitely use um, the little trick to find commercial clip art on Google. Um, however, I wouldn't recommend that. I like to use two different websites. So the first one is creativefabrica.com. I actually just recently found out about Creative Fabrica. Um, but when you go to the Creative Fabrica homepage right here, um, you can, of course, type in what you're looking for up here in the search bar. Um, or you can just go down here. There's tons of different fonts that you can purchase. Um, let's see, SVG graphics for like the Cricut and Silhouette users cross-stitch patterns, logos, illustrations, um, Amazon KDP interiors. I mean, there's really all kinds of stuff you can get um, from Creative Fabrica. So if you go up here to the top and type in um, floral clip art, then you will get a couple of different options. So let's just take a look at this. This is really pretty. I like these colors. So... Once you click on an item in Creative Fabrica, it'll take you to this page. So to buy this bundle of clip art, it's seven dollars. Um, you can always um, purchase this unlimited plan for nineteen dollars a month, and that will give you unlimited access to almost three million graphics, including this one. So I mean, if you're really pumping out digital designs and printable designs and that kind of thing, then the $19 a month really isn't that bad. But if you're just like stepping your foot in this kind of stuff, um, I probably wouldn't go to that um, unlimited thing right now. So anyways, if you were to purchase this, it would be $7. Um, and then if you scroll down right here, it says um, every download and purchase includes our premium commercial license. So I'm going to hit read about our commercial license right here. And let's see, single sales license, one time payment. I'm going to look at this. Um, let's see, if you purchase any item on the site, the purchase is automatically covered under this license. You will pay a one time fee and the single sales license is valid forever. You are allowed to create unlimited physical end products, create unlimited digital end products. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, I don't know who's calling me. I'm so sorry. So basically, once you purchase this clip art right here, um, you will forever have this commercial license. So that means that you can use the designs from this bundle um, an unlimited amount of times, which is really good. So for $7, like that's really not that bad. Um, now, with some commercial licenses, like if you were to purchase clip art from Etsy, um, a lot of shops make you purchase a commercial license that's like $50. Um, and I mean, I understand where they're coming from, but that can get kind of expensive. So just the fact that everything you purchase from Creative Fabrica comes with this forever use commercial license um, is a pretty good deal. So Creative Fabrica is definitely a good place to start when it comes to getting clip art for your digital designs. However, my favorite, my favorite website for commercial clip art is, um, my brain just drew a complete blank. It is Creative Market. Wow. Okay. Words are really hard today, so <laughs> just bear with me. But anyways, my favorite website is Creative Market. So I purchased like all of this stuff. We'll go back to Canva right here. So all, literally all of this stuff that's like way down here has come from Creative Market. Um, all of that stuff's come from Creative Market. If I scroll up all the way, um, all of these like glitter papers and everything have also come from Creative Market. If you can't find it on Creative Market, then it probably doesn't exist. So 
Let's go back over to Creative Market and we will type in floral clip art just for the sake of this video. Let me see. So if you scroll down a little bit, there's actually like here is a giant $700 value watercolor clip art bundle for $19. This is a really good deal. So I'm going to click on this. Now, let me see. Let me scroll down a little bit. If you're wanting to use this on Canva, I'm not sure if you can use this one. So this is something that I'm glad has come up right now. So if you are specifically wanting to purchase clip art that is able to be used on Canva, um, if you purchase clip art that is in like the SVG form, DXF, all that stuff, um, you're not going to be able to use it on Canva. So something that I really like about Creative Market is being able to... Um, filter the search results by file type. I always do .png because that comes with a transparent background and you don't have to do extra work to remove the background. So um, once you type whatever in in the search bar that you're looking for, um, make sure to select .png as the file type. And then if you're on a budget, you can just do two to $19. And this is what, um, has come up for me. So let's click, let's click this one. This one's really pretty. So if you wanted to use this clip art right here to make some digital designs on Canva, let's say you wanted to um, use like this design for a thank you card and sell it on Etsy, um, you would need to get either a commercial or extended commercial license. Now, if you just wanted to make something like this and hang it up in your bathroom or your bedroom or whatever, then you could just get the personal license. However, um, always make sure to get the commercial license. It is, it can be a little more expensive um, than the personal. Now, this one's not that bad. However, the extended commercial, that's really expensive. Um, if you're just starting out, there's really no reason to get the extended commercial. Um, and you can actually always go back and upgrade your license to an extended commercial if it comes down to it. So let's go over the creative market license types. So if you're unfamiliar with personal versus commercial versus extended commercial licenses, um, you can hit what are these and this will give you some more information. So as I said, if you just wanted to buy some clip art and make something for your office or for your kid's room or whatever, um, then you would just need the personal license. So that means that the end products that you create are not going to be for sale and you can only use them on one social media account that does not have commercial activities. If you do want to use whatever designs you're looking at on Creative Market for your Etsy shop, then you will need a commercial license. So this commercial license means that you can use it for up to 5,000 end products for sale. So this is what I always purchase. I have yet to get to the point in my Etsy shop um, to where I need an extended commercial license, but um, if you're making like journals and you're selling a lot of journals, um, then this is what you would need. Not, not specifically journals, but just as an example, if you're selling a lot of products, then the extended commercial is the way to go. Um, and then if you still have questions about personal versus commercial versus extended commercial, um, if you scroll down, there's a section about how to use licensed assets. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, this is a really pretty clip art set. And it definitely would look good in some digital designs. So if you were looking to start out on Etsy, um, make sure that you take a look at both Creative Fabrica and Creative Market. Also, if you sign up for the Creative Market emails, they do send you free products every Friday. Um, sometimes it's stuff like Procreate pins. Um, sometimes it's really cute fonts. Sometimes it's like giant clip art bundles. You really never know what you're going to get, but it's definitely worth it. And all those free things, you don't ever have to pay for them. So um, sometimes you can really do good on those. So I definitely recommend using Creative Market. 
Um, hopefully you guys learned a little bit. I know this video was a little more wordy than normal, but hopefully you have a better idea now of where to purchase clip art and how to make sure that your clip art has a commercial license and that you don't get in trouble for using something that doesn't have a commercial license. So if you guys liked today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below, and I will talk with you guys again soon.